is the party Tieni Soleunga, and this is the look, the mask look. Nowadays, so that's the normal look um, because of the COVID-19. Um, first off, I want to thank Olelo TV station for letting me join the Oahu Free Speech. And I want to talk about today, it's a uh, vaccine mandate. Is it legal for our president to mandate us to get a vaccine? I myself took the vaccine because I'm in a job training program and it's very hard to go to work without it. You would have to test and now they're changing the rules. And so um, I went along with it because I didn't want all the hassle. But for those of you who are fighting for our rights not to uh, be told what to do, congratulations. But I kind of took the easy route this time. So the vaccine mandate, um, what is coming after this vaccine mandate? The chip in our forearm or in our forehead? I definitely am not going to take that. You know, um, it says in the Bible, if you take the mark of the beast, you won't have a chance to go to heaven. And so this is where individuals have to choose. You can choose to follow the government or you can choose what the Bible says. The Bible actually works when we're alive, but it actually works when we're still, when we're dead. You know, it says that we go to another government, but in order to go to heaven, you need to know the rules. You need to look in your Bibles and study it. You know, there's a, a church in um, Kamiohi Calvary. It shows you ABCs. His name is Pastor J.D. Farag. He's a good teacher. Uh, I've learned a lot this last year and a half because of the COVID-19. He's on YouTube, and he talks you into getting the receiving Christ is A, admit that you're a sinner, B, believe in Christ that he came to earth, died for our sins, and rose from the dead, and C, just call on his name. So it's very easy, but when you get into, after the ABC, then you actually need to study and, uh, you know, learn more about it so you can uh, follow it. But getting back to the vaccine mandate, I have to carry a vaccine card in order to come in here and in order to go to work and also into restaurants that you need the vaccine card. And then the next thing is, you know, the vaccine passport that they're trying to push through. And then people can, like, make fake ones. So, you know, they're going to eventually try to make it to uh, a chip in the hand or the forearm. So I definitely won't take that. But um, for those who are standing up for our rights, because if the president decides he wants to change something else, are we going to go along with it? And if we look at our southern border, since he was president in, what, January to now, there's like a million people or a million point something that cross the border illegally into our country. And they're spread out. They don't tell us where they are, but they're forcing the citizens of the United States and the legal residents here to take all this mandates, but there's no mandate for the illegal people. So he's like, Two, there's double standards. The people that's actually living here live by one set of rules, and the illegal people that's eventually going to vote live by another set of rules. So it's kind of like double standards, and so we're looking forward to whatever he wants to change next, you know, especially with um, critical race theory, um, teaching our kids. Um, it's okay to have two moms and two dads. I myself have friends that have two moms and two dads. But when you're teaching little kids, you're kind of brainwashing them. So, you know, the Bible speaks about hurting your kids. So we all are going to have to answer to God one day. So when that day comes, I hope you have the right answer. And thank you for letting me share.